Okay, so um, we are reading the book called Charlie Bone in our book club meeting. And who wants to go first? Okay, some elements of fantasy that I'm seeing in the book are the magic because of Manfred and Asa, and then the quest because he's trying to um, find Amelia Moon as how uh, her rightful owner and good versus evil. Mm -hmm. Like theme over there, um, we have more power than we realize. Cause like you know Uncle Payton. He's like, he, he was scared to go outside because he was scared that people would notice, but then he started doing it because Charlie helped him realize that he has a lot more than he thought he would. Um, I agree with that because I'm seeing a lot of good versus evil and like, the quest is what, the quest is what he's basically doing because he's trying to find his dad. When he got when he got lost and the what was it? Uncle Peyton and um, the quest matches. And good versus evil because of I'm thinking like man no. well kind man friends a little like on the evil side ish. Who? Man. He is evil. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, he's, he's, he's Dr. Ford's daughter. Great son. And she tranced Emilia, or what was her real name? Emily or something? Emmy. Uh, Emmy. Emmy. Emma Tolly. Yeah, Emma Tolly. Oh. But, her name, but her name is now Emilia. No, it's yeah. Emily. It's, no, I need it's now, um, it's yeah. Amelia Moon. No. Uh -huh. yeah, see, 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 see. It says in Mr. Tolly's book, in Mr. Tolly's, um. See? Now giving Emma Tolly's paper before I break every Yeah, line. But, yeah in, but, but at the Bloor's Academy, they call her Amelia yeah. Moon. Yeah. So yeah. she has like two names. Yeah, she's so, like two personalities. Now she's one. Yeah. Uh, they found the papers at the end. Did you read it? Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. And then and I forgot to read this Anyway, does anybody want to share any elements of fantasy that they're saying? Oh, I know. I think we kind of discussed this already. I can I think we kind of discussed this already, but um, the good versus evil scene. Uh, I noticed it in Billy Raven because you know how he met um, like Manfred's grandpa. I think his name was no, Ecky, Ecky. no Doctor Bloor. No, no, no. It was a. Uh, it was Manfred's grandpa when uh, Bless took him. Or I thought it was Doctor no, Bloor. No, no. It was okay. Mr. Ekizel or something. No, it's Mr. Yeah. No, it's e e What page do you think it's on? Right now, what page? Which page? Okay. Whatever. Well, yeah. So because he he told um, Manfred's grandpa about whatever Charlie's doing, like, and now when when I was reading, I saw that um, Billy said that he noticed. Uh, no, Charlie said that he noticed Billy following them around. So I think he might be getting information to tell that Billy is sneaky. <laughs> did it very did it. like the I guess he's pretty Billy. sneaky for a seven year old. Yeah, Billy. Yeah. Trying. And I don't think that okay. man friend is gonna actually get him adopted. Yeah, I think, he's just I think he was just tricking him. It wasn't man friend. Yeah, it was. No, oh, it was Dr. Bloor's dad Fred's grandfather. Yeah. But Dr. Bloor is uh Manfred's dad. No, he's his grandfather. Okay, so, so um, some inner and external thoughts that I'm seeing are, so inner is Emma Tolly because that's basically what this whole story is based about, Charlie trying to find Emma Tolly, and then Uncle Peyton, sorta, and Asa, actually, I'm not sure, so sure about that one, so I'm going to cross that one out. Asa. Crossy, cross, cross. Uh, it's not really because it was think only he, mentioned in one story. So no, he's still an external. external. He's an external. Yeah, field. I put it in internal on accident. 
Um, okay, does anybody else have anything for Maybe inner could be, um, maybe Manfred? Inner? I don't really, because I put them outside, but they might get caught trying to take, uh... No, you remember at the end it said that, uh, they were, that he was, like, hypnotized by it. Yeah, yeah, remember. Okay. He was hypnotized and he was like, hmm? Are you really, are you okay, really gonna so, go there right now? Yeah. Okay. Please don't get off topic. So, so um, some external things that I'm seeing are um, the aunts and grandma because he's oh. not he's not so worried about them, but he's like you so never know what could happen. Yeah, and then Mr. Bloor and Manfred are also an external, and uh, yeah, I just what about that, so. Uncle? Okay. All right. Can, I, him in can I interrupt you guys for a minute? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So I was watching your video of. Um, your book club discussion from last time, and I was really impressed with like how you guys were really kind of. Why are you guys so squished here? <laughs> because we're trying to get. Oh, okay. Um, I was really impressed with how you guys were so like deep into your conversation, and you guys were all sharing, and I like how you guys had roles and a leader. And one thing that I did notice is that you guys were talking about the inner and external struggles, right? And then you guys kept referring to it as the inner and the external, right? But we want to be like specific because it's talking about the internal and the external struggles. Okay, so I, next time you guys are doing your discussion and you're talking about struggles, make sure you're specific that it's the internal struggle and then the external struggle, okay? Okay. Right. And have you guys been able to talk about some of the themes? Yeah. We yeah. saw the one. Yeah, we got, we got the good versus evil theme, which is uh, you have more power than you realize. Uh -huh. and, of course, you can do yeah. anything for your family or uh -huh. friends. The fight for your... Your Emma Tolly. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And so maybe at the end you can write down some of these themes that you can see. Okay, and then maybe for next time you can see if there's anything else. Okay. Okay. Some other external stuff. Yeah. Any any, any any other other external stuff? Let me try to see. Um, oh, we'll come back to that later. Uh, do you, does anybody want to share their second post notes? Josh, you haven't shared one. I shared I one of my post notes is the question. Elements of fantasy. Yeah. Okay, why don't you open that up while me and Pamela open up to our third post notes right? for the passage one. Um. <laughs> no, I'm seriously looking. Uh, I put so it down here. A passage that I thought was really um, important in this book was, or uh, like, had really get good description was um, this passage. I'm gonna read it out loud. I don't really think this was that important, but I thought it had like something very descriptive and stuff. Okay. Oh, oh, this was one of my book. Charlie said nothing. He leaped around Manfred and jumped in on, into the room. But Manfred and Manfred's hand shot out and clamped itself around Charlie's arm. The other boy, a uh, red-haired individual, grabbed hold of Benjamin. I think that's awesome. Yeah, that was. I got good. news. I got bad news for you, Charlie. Manfred said in a cold, toneless voice. You won't be going to any bookshop until you, and you won't be getting anything. No one's going to open that case until it's handed over to me. I don't know what you're talking about, said Charlie, trying to twist out of Manfred's grip. We just want to buy a book, said Benjamin. Benjamin. You won't find any kids who get in the room, said the red haired boy. Let go of me, shouted Charlie. I can go wherever I want. You have no right to stop me. He bought up his free hand and gave Manfred a blow on the ear. But the taller boy seized both of Charlie's arms and squeezed them tighter and tighter, forced him to the ground. Look at me, Manfred commanded. Charlie looked. He couldn't help himself. Look into my eyes, Candy said in her. Yeah, so that's where he hypnotized him. Remember what happened? Oh, yeah. And, that's and he kind of woke up. So that passage was really important because it was talking about the case. And the author put really, really good descriptive uh, 
and thoughts into that. Uh, like how he was, he couldn't help himself and he looked into Manfred. I he was think like, that's one of the, like another thing that relates to his power that he that he could like hypnotize people. Like maybe he could kind of put them into. By the way, that was on comas. Com no sleeps. No comas. No, they comas. 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 But they were easily woken. Even though, up. Don't he, even though them. Amelia is still like. Even though Amelia is still like walking and stuff, she's not really in a coma, she's more in a trance. Yeah. So, anyway, anybody else want to share their passage? That Mine was where. where yes, uh, okay. Mine was where. Uh, yeah, I'll read it. I'm just telling you which one it is. Mine was where. Uh, where. We need to be well. Just read what? Page what? I'm looking at the notebook. It's not that big. Oh, look. It's the one where he told, where he was with, uh, Man, where Charlie was with Manfred, and it was like the Nightmare. That's the one I just read. Uh, I think for mine on 240 something. Is it 254? <laughs> Alright, I'm at three, two.